Hello, it's me Jace and I'm back with a tutorial for a super beautiful pretty bracelet called Wicker by Loom's Passion. This is a really pretty bracelet and it's very easy to make, almost like a beginner's bracelet. Seriously, you can easily make this, okay? But you can see how beautiful that pattern is. It's so clean. Okay, this is the version I made with the silk bands and here's the version I made with the medieval bands. A different color pattern, like in a square fashion but still ombre. This is also ombre inspired. And then I made a third one using my dual layered bands. Um, and it's Lego inspired. <laughs> okay, there. So those are your Wicca bracelets. Okay, Wicca. Okay, Wicker. Okay, so this is very easy. This is easy. The clap. This is very easy to make. <laughs> and I will teach it to you. And um, it's just a quick note. When you make it, it's going to be about 50 bands per side for a chain. Oh no, 50, no, 20, <laughs> 25 to 30 only. No, it's gonna be a necklace. 25 to 30 bands, depending on your bands. Um, For example, like these are smaller. These are the 600 packs. So you only need about, you need about 30, okay? For this one, if you notice, this is actually bigger, the silk, okay? This, you will need only about, uh, 25 because the silk are longer so when you make it it's gonna be longer if you use 30 so I suggest here for the smaller ones the 600 packs you use 30 and then for the big ones the 300 packs you use 25 to 28 okay so let's get started the colors that we will be using are the new pink one the peach and then the hot and the and the burgundy all from rainbow loom and then when you start we will start with the the starting chain okay so you first get your first cap band just like that this is super easy beginners please make this okay cap band and then you get one band again same color and just place the cap band there and then close ta-ta okay we will be adding three single chains per side because that's the beginning chain okay that beginning chain is going to be these three here three three so six okay so you need three per side okay so one unloop the single band and then close followed by the second one and then close okay and the last one and then close okay so I will be changing the color of this three versus the single chain because I want you to see the difference because it will be hard for a tutorial if they're all the same color. Okay, so we add three more on the other side. So one. Two. I don't know how to do that single hand. Someone's so good at this there. <laughs> see, I can't. <laughs> I could never do that. Two. How do they do that? I don't know how. Okay, three. So here you go, guys. You begin with, this is the starting chain. You have your connecting band right here, this one. And then you have two single chains of three bands. You will now put C-clips on these. So you C-clip. Oh, not yet. Sorry, sorry. We have to add the single chains first. <laughs> okay, sorry. sorry. This is, these are the three starting chains. <clears throat> okay. I call it starting chains because th that's what you need to remember. Now you start with your single chain. Okay, What I mean by the single chain is the one that goes from here to here, the end. Okay, So we are adding this one now. Okay, So like I said, for an adult wrist, it's about 25 to 30. Okay, So I will add mine, but we will only use 10 for the tutorial, so it's not so forever. Okay, So I will add my single chain now. So that's same way, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. 
So remember, for you, for your bracelet, it has to be about 25 to 30. Once you reach the end of the single chain that you made, 25 or 30, you see clip the end. You get these two and place them on the C clip. Okay, then you can remove it. Okay, now you will repeat the 10 chains on the other side. So you get um, your 25 again and then add it to this side. So one. Oops. So you now have that 10 again or your 25 for your full wrists. Then you put, put you put a secret again. There. So what do you have now? You have two chains. Okay? So your two chains, this one. Okay. Now these colors are your outside colors. Okay? You are working your way inwards. So this is actually like that okay just so you can see you can appreciate it so now you're going to add the second layer which is for me here this darker this pink the middle pink so you now add the second layer so what you need to remember is that this is your connecting band cap band there it's make sure it's not twisted or you know make sure it's flat like that okay now you count one and two you see the second chain right here okay you go on top of it you go inside on top and then you grab the one behind it you grab the one the, the, the band under so you grab this one like that okay see and then you pull it out okay and then now you add your next color which is the peach loop that single band on it and then you close Okay, and from here, you will always have to make sure that when you have the single band, you pick up the next one. So, you don't go into the first chain, this one. You ignore that from now on. You only get the first chain. No, you only work on the first chain of your border band. So, if this is the second, this one we picked up was the second one, right? So, you skip this one and you start with the first border band. So, you do the same. You go into the one on top of it and pick up the one behind see and then you pull it out okay and then you get your peach again and unloop the three and then you close then you repeat it you go into there you go into you go on top of the next one pick up the one behind it like that and then you get your peach again Close. Go into the next one, pick up the one behind, pull it out, and then loop on that peach again, and then close. Go into the next one, pick up the one at the back, and loop on a single chain, and then close. Go into the next one, pick up the one at the back. And another peach frost. Close. Next one. Pick up one at the back. Single chain. Close. Go into the next one. Pick up the one at the back. And then you unload. Close. Go into the next one. Pick up the one at the back. Then you go and the loop the three. You think I have to close the door. You can hear a marching band passing by. Can you hear it? I'm sure you can. 
it'll get louder once it's in front of my house. Okay, so I go into the next one again. Then you go into the next one. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, when you are already at your last chain, you see this with the C clip? Okay. You place it on the hook, those two. Then you remove the C clip. Okay. So, C clip removed. So now you have those two, right? Those two pinks. You remove the first band and let the second one fall. Then you put it back. Okay? And now these three, you unloop on the same color as your starting color. So I get my balgande. And then just unloop the three. And then you close. And then you C clip again. C clip. Oops. There. See? We're done. And now we do this again on the other side. Okay? Once you actually memorize the steps already, you can just continue on growing all the three parts. So now, once again, you have to make sure that the second layer you added is facing you upwards. It's not the other way around like that, okay? Because you will be completely wrong if you add it on the other side of this one, then they're not on the right side. So make sure it's completely correct. Your single cha connecting chain is up, up again, facing you. And also the peach frost that you just added is facing upwards. You go into the other side and go into the chain that you did like the first time. So once again, that's correct. So if we work on this. There. So you count again. First chain, second chain, third chain. That's where you go in and pick up the back loop of the second chain so you go under pick up this one at the back okay, let me go closer to the camera again so your second chain is this one you go on top and pick up the one at the back like that okay there okay then you get your peach and loop and now you get the back loop of the first pink this one ignore this remember you ignore this so you go here pick up the one at the back and then unloop those three on a, on a peach frost again and you keep repeating that all the way up go on the next one pick up the one at the back and then you just unloop on a peach this is like the Slytherin bracelet that they also made and then you go into the next one Get the one at the back. Like that. Just basically just keep going. Okay, next one. It's really easy and it's really fast once you've memorized the steps. See? So this is basically the same thing that we were doing earlier. I'm sure you get it already. Three. Come to the next one. Just remember, you're always picking up the one at the back. <laughs> at the back or... I do some, that's just the best way I can say it, the back, the one at the back. Because <laughs> this is the front and that's the back, okay? So, go in the front and pick up the band at the back. Like that, see? There. Then you unloop. Then you close. Okay, this is basically the step for the whole bracelet. So now you're in the last, you put those two again on the hook and remove your C-clip. there so now you remove the first one and let the second one fall off just like that and then you close and then you get your burgundy and you unloop these three 
And then you see clip them. See clip, see clip on. There. Okay. <coughs> Ta-da! We're now going into... Just remember that the way for you to check if you're correct is that. Make sure the center linking band, this one, is not twisted like that. Okay? Has to be same, upright. So now you have those two chains. And we will now go and add the third chain. Okay? So we will go into the third layer, which is this silk purple. Okay? So now we go back here with your single chain facing up like that and your second color facing you also. Okay? We now go and add the last color. Well, not last, but sort of like the third layer before we connect the two bracelets. So once again, you refer to your this single connecting band and you will use now the first band the first chain you go in front of it and pick up the one at the back same as how we did the first one like that okay and then now you add your third layer which is Z pink and then you unloop that and then you close okay now you this time you go into your peach frost okay it's now the peach that you work with so you go inside the top of the side, the first one and then pick up the one at the back again so you just go there push the first one down and pull the one at the back out like that then you get your pink again and the loop the three like that go into the next one pick up the one at the back and loop the three close go into the next one pick up the one at the back and loop the three close next one pick up the one at the back like that and loop <coughs> close next one pick up the one at the back And loop, close, next one, pick up the one at the back, and loop, close, next one, and loop, once you get used to this, this is going to be so fast to do, okay? So just keep going and get the ones at the back. And loop. Close. And the next one. And loop. Close. And this one again. You're already at the last again. Well, almost at the last. Get that. And loop. And then you close. So, you're at the end. You will now work with this. Same way you did with the other one. You place it on your hook. Remove. Like that. Let one fall under again. Remove the first one and then let the second one fall under and then close. And once again, you close all those three on a single band again. Ta-ta! So, and then you C-clip it again. Now you repeat on the other side. Okay? So you repeat this step here. So, again, double check the single chain, the single linking chain and make sure it's not twisted, flat. Now you go into this next one. So you go from the single one, from the connecting band, this is the first chain again, so you get the one behind it again. Pull it out, like that. Okay, then now you go, you get your pink. And then go on with the peach. Get the one at the back. And unloop the three. Next one. Unloop the three. 
and next one again oops that's a lot <laughs> loop the three and next one again and loop the three and next one again and loop the three and next one again and loop the three and next one again see it's so easy this is like one of the fastest bracelets to make yet it's so beautiful beautiful how high, i wonder how high i could go beautiful like i don't have falsetto <laughs> okay next one this is the ice gold michelle pfeiffer <clears throat> there and then the next one. Come her, come her. There. And once again, you are at the end. Can you like just go? <laughs> okay, there. So you are at the last one again. So place those two on the hook. Remove the C-clip. C-clip. There. Oops. There. Then you remove the first one and let the second one fall under. Put it back. And now get a single burgundy and loop the three. And you see clip that two again. Ta 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 Look. See? Okay. That's how it looks right now. So, you now have... There are two sides, just like this. Three colors. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? So, one, two, three. We will now add this single, like it's purple here. Okay? We will now add the single chain in the middle. So, you made two sides first and now we connect them. Okay? And we will use this color now. Okay? So, when you connect, you will see that you have this first chain. Okay? You see this first chain? And you will get this one. You see this one here? That one. Okay? That's what you will get. Okay? So, I will go in and get that. Pick it up. Okay? It's the one that is under. Actually, actually if you notice, it's the only first. That's why it changed the color so you can see the difference. Okay? So, once you have your single chain here, if these are the same colors, all you have to do is just refer to this first chain. This first chain and the band that you see that's right there, that's the one you pick up. Like that. <clears throat> and then, you will look at your connecting, this connecting chain that you have in the middle. You will pick up the other side of that, which is this one. And then now you will also pick up the other side, which is this one. So you now have your connecting chain on your hook. And then you will also get, remember, first chain and that first band that you see right there, pick it up. Now you have four on your hook. Okay, so you have the four. You will now just loop all four on a single chain, which is the same as the burgundy. Burgundy. And loop all four. One, two, three, four. Okay, see? There. You now work with every chain. Same as how you did the hood bracelet. You go into the first one, and you pick up the one at the back again. And then you repeat that on the other side. So it's better if you have two hooks. Well, not two ended hooks. Double ended. Then you go into the first chain and pick up the one at the back again. Now you have four again. And you unloop those in a single chain. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Again, you go into the next chain again. That. Go into the next chain of the other side. Pick up the one at the back. And you add a single chain again. Place those four. There. See, it's connecting. You go into the next chain, get the one at the back. Go to the other side. 
going to the next chain and get the back and then loop all four in a single chain it's so super easy going to the next chain pick up the one at the back go to the other side and repeat See? And then you loop on a single chain again. Then you go and repeat again. See? This is super easy, I swear. I love it. That's why when I was making this, like, wow, it's so fun. It's easy. It's fast to make. And, uh, and you can do so many color patterns there. Next one. <coughs> Next one. Then we go to the next one. See, it's growing. I wonder how many, actually I'm thinking you can still make this as wide as you can if you can. I mean if you have the patience, you can make it as wide as possible, like a placemat. Okay, so there. Oops, I made a mistake. <laughs> I added the wrong one. Wait, wait, wait. That's, that's okay. I'm sure you guys got it anyway. Okay, I just added the, instead of burgundy, I added a pink. <laughs> anyway, going to the next one. What was I thinking? <laughs> Sorry. I messed up. Anyway, it's a sample. It's just a prototype. Then you're going to the next one. Bergen green. It's because it's closer to me. That's why I accidentally got it. So there I moved it. Then you get this. Next one. One at the back. Just remember you always get the one at the back, okay? Here, see? There, and then you get the one at the back. Then burgundy. Close. Get the next one. Other side. The one at the back. Burgundy. Okay. And then they're almost done. This last one. Nope. Come here. There. Other side. And burgundy. Close. Okay. Now you have the last two single chains on both sides. You go and put the first one back, the two bands, put them back on the hook, okay, like that, back on the hook, remove the C-clip, okay, and you do exactly the same way you did it at the beginning. You remove the first band and let the second one drop, and then you close, and then you will put this over this one over like that and then you remove the first one again and let the second one drop again and then close there then you go to the other side <coughs> put that other one back on remove the C clip okay and then remove the first and let the second fall under Put it back and then now you switch these two put the first one in and then now you will remove the first one again and let the second one fall under again and then you have it see that's the end and that is your super pretty i love this bracelet so much okay
See how cute? Ah, I love the color scheme. It's so pretty. Okay, so these are your very beautiful, very pretty wicker bracelets. Okay. Wicker bracelet was created by Loom's Fashion Genius. And that is so beautiful. I'm sure so many of you will make it. Okay. When you make the bracelet, please don't forget to hashtag Jay's Alvarez. Wicker bracelet and looms fashion. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Goodbye.